Hi, my name is Leslie and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about wardrobe essentials that no one talks about. I feel like when people talk about wardrobe essentials, they usually talk about basic white tees, basic white tank tops, white leg trousers, white sneakers, black bags. People just talk about those things but in different variations and different fits based on their style. Today, I'm not going to be talking about those basic boring wardrobe essentials. I'm going to be talking about some wardrobe essentials that I think people often overlook. You can't survive on a basic white tee and trousers alone. You need to accessorize, you need to add things to it. I'm going to be talking about the things I add to my basic outfits that are absolutely essential to my style. In other news, I finally have a mic. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I use my old phone as my mic for better audio, but I finally bought a mic. So if the audio quality is kind of wonky, bear with me. This is my first time using this mic. Anyway, my mic talk is not what you came for. So without further ado, let's get right into the wardrobe essentials. The first thing I'm going to be talking about is the cheapest thing here. I got mine for under 100 pesos and it's tortoise shell sunglasses like these. I'm not talking about any normal sunglasses. I'm specifically talking about these types of sunglasses with the tortoise shell pattern on it all over it like this. I think that sunglasses just add so much to an outfit. For example, if you're wearing a basic top like this, you can just add a pair of sunglasses to the front like this. I know you can't see it that much with the lighting. It just adds so much to the outfit. It just makes you not need the necklace anymore. Or if you want to wear a headband, but you don't want to wear like an actual headband, you can also use your sunglasses like that and you look fun and summery. Tortoise shell sunglasses specifically are a wardrobe essential and not any kind of other sunglasses because I think that they just go with everything. They have both black and white on the design and I feel like they just match whatever you're wearing. I feel like I I own every single type of sunglasses but the only ones I actually use are the tortoiseshell ones because I think it goes with everything plus I think that pattern just looks kind of sophisticated. It's a statement but not too much of a statement, more of just like an accent. And you can wear them on your eyes like this too but I rarely ever do this because I feel like whenever I wear sunglasses on my eyes, I look like I'm part of the three blind mice. And if you don't already own a pair of sunglasses like this, go buy a pair because what do you have to lose? I'll try to link whatever I talk about in the description box below. Anyway, the next wardrobe essential that I don't ever hear anyone talking about are straw bags like these. I feel like when I watch wardrobe essential videos, I usually see people talking about having a staple work bag or a staple black bag, but no one really talks about the power a straw bag or a rafia bag brings, the power it holds to elevate an outfit, especially if you're living in a more tropical climate where the vibe is always summer anyway. I love a good straw bag like this. I feel like it looks really good with basic outfits. The outfits don't necessarily have to look super summery. It could just be a basic white top with jeans, plus this and it just makes it a much more interesting outfit to look at because it has a lot of texture to it. Plus they're not black or white but I think they're pretty neutral so I think they pair well with almost every single color. I got this one from Zara last season and this one from Mango like two years ago so I can't really link these. I know people ask about them sometimes but they're too old for me to ever link. I feel like there are a lot of similar ones on the market. There are also a few designer ones like the Loewe ones, Kate ones. In my opinion, if you're getting a bag like this, it doesn't really have to be designer because I feel like there could only be so much quality with straw bags like these the material is relatively cheap so you should be able to get it for relatively cheap for me these types of bags aren't only a summer staple but a year-round staple in my wardrobe for my really really basic outfits the next thing i want to talk about are gold earrings specifically chunky gold earrings as you can see with my bracelets i'm more of a silver girly than a gold girly specifically for earrings i think gold just gives off such a different vibe from silver i think it makes your outfit look so much more dressed up it makes it look like you put in the effort into your outfit it was well thought of and planned out you just look so much more put together in my opinion with big gold earrings like this just unapologetically mixed metals because i really like having gold on my ears like this i've been really really liking pairing big gold earrings like this that are traditionally worn with more occasion wear formal wear pieces with really basic boring outfits like this right now i've been really influenced by this brand called heaven mayhem their product photos have been popping up all over my pinterest feed and they just have these big chunky shiny earrings with really really basic boring tank top and jeans outfits and i think it just looks really effortlessly cool and i love it it just really fueled my love for the big earrings plus basic outfit combo very hailey bieber-esque i actually have a video on tiktok talking about my recommendations for filipino brands that have earrings like these at a relatively affordable price so i'll show it here and link it below yeah i've just been really really loving big chunky statement gold earrings the next thing i want to talk about is something i've worn for so long now and it's honestly really changed the game for me and they are pointed toe white slingbacks like this not just 
any type of pointed toe heels, specifically slingbacks. I think slingbacks are a really good way to provide support for your feet. For me, the block heel like this is absolutely unnecessary because I feel like it just makes it so much easier to walk so I don't feel like it's wobbly and I'm going to fall. This pair I'm holding right now, super old. My feet have been ripping them to shreds, so they're really nasty looking, but I got them from Charles and Keith. I'm pretty sure these are from their classic collection because they're always in store when I go. So I think that specifically white pointed toe heels are an essential and not any other color because I think they're a really good alternative to wearing white sneakers. I feel like everyone knows how to style white sneakers. Everyone owns a pair of white sneakers. A lot of the casual outfits that go with white sneakers also go with pointed toe heels and it just brings your outfit from a really casual normal level to a really cute sophisticated dressed up level. Plus you can also dress them up with more formal pieces like long skirts, long dresses and it would still look really cute. In my opinion, they're honestly more of a wardrobe essential than white sneakers because you can truly dress them up or down. The next thing I'm going to talk about is a little basic but I think that people fail to mention this detail when they're talking about it but I think that convertible bags are the best thing ever and they're a wardrobe essential. Whenever I buy a bag, I always take into consideration if I can convert it from shoulder bag to clutch to crossbody because I feel like I don't want to tie myself down to just one type of way to wear a bag. For example, these moon-shaped bags are usually just shoulder bags but the specific one from Bali has a detachable shoulder strap that you can turn into a crossbody strap and I think that just changes the game for me and makes this so much better and so much more versatile than the Celine Ava where you're just stuck with a short strap. While this whole little shoulder bag moment is super cute right now, I don't really know how much longer I like it. I'll probably want to wear like a crossbody bag one day. I want my bags to be convertible into whatever I want them to be. The next thing I want to talk about are an accessory again and they are bracelet stacks. I don't really have much of a stack on and I don't think I'm quite satisfied with the stack I currently own but I'm slowly but surely developing my bracelet stack because they've been an absolute staple, an absolute essential in my wardrobe. I used to think that bracelets were a bother, they would be annoying to have on my hand like I would get annoyed about them and take them off. With my really basic outfits, I find that these bracelets are an essential to add some sparkle, to add some hardware into my outfits. I think that mixed metal bracelet stacks where some of the bracelets are two-toned at least or you just straight up mix silver and gold jewelry together on your stack look really good and they're more versatile because you can wear them with either gold or silver earrings and it would match something in the outfit. Next thing I want to talk about are belts. Again, I feel like belts add so much to a really basic look, especially looks like this. It's just boring, bland, basic. It adds a little bit of hardware. Recently, I've been seeing the really famous studded belt from Kate. And while I personally wouldn't buy it because it really reminds me of that 2016 Valentino rock stud era, I think it's cute. I think it's interesting. And I think the big chunky studs make really boring outfits stand out and have some character to them. Personally, I've been into more minimal belts just with a little bit of hardware, just minimal hardware to add a little something to it. And as a sandwich method outfit girl, I've been really liking matching my belt to my bag. I think it looks really cohesive. It looks like a matching set. Last but not the least, I want to talk about white sneakers. White sneakers are something literally everyone talks about in their wardrobe essentials video, but I have something to add to it. I don't think all white sneakers are made equally. Exhibit a, I have two pairs of sneakers right here, these Beja V10s which are absolutely ripped to shreds, really dirty, really nasty, and these newer also equally as nasty, New Balance 574. I bought these Beja's like three years ago and I got these New Balances two months ago to hopefully replace these. But I found that even if I have this newer pair of New Balances, I still gravitate towards these Beja's because the style it's in is just so much more versatile because I think it looks less sporty. I think these ones inherently have that sporty PE workout shoe vibe to them and I think these Vegas can transition really well from casual to sporty to cuter to more dressed up to more laid back. This is really hard to put into words because I feel like I'm explaining vibes right now but I feel like you get what I mean and this pair is just so much more versatile than this pair. So yes, that's just a little piece of advice I have because I feel like no one really talks about it when they talk about their wardrobe essential being white sneakers. And yeah, that is it for my wardrobe essentials that I think no one ever talks about. I hope you enjoyed this video if you got anything from it or if you just enjoyed hearing me yap about fashion. Please don't forget to hit the like button because I finally have a mic and this was quite the investment. So like this video, subscribe, turn on my post notifications, follow me on Instagram at Alyssa and on my TikTok at Alyssa's Vids. I post more often on there. I try to post YouTube videos once every two weeks just because of my other commitments in life. And I just want to put out more quality than quantity. So I'll see you again some other Sunday because I post on Sundays. Thanks for watching. Bye!